More now on the coronavirus. Law enforcement and first responders are among those eligible to get a COVID-19 vaccination. The case area three investigates found that many don't want the shot. Also of note, many agencies actually aren't tracking which of their officers and first responders have and have not been vaccinated. Brittany Johnson tells us why. California is currently vaccinating older residents, healthcare workers, teachers, and first responders, such as police officers and firefighters. But our KCRA3 investigation has found the number of first responders opting to get vaccinated is not as high as you think. We reached out to police and fire departments across our area over the last couple of weeks. Here's some of what we found from the agencies who responded. Solano County Sheriff's Office has 562 employees, 250 signed up for the vaccine, but 312 chose not to sign up. West Sacramento Fire has 60 firefighters. Nearly all of them have received both shots and three more plan to. Modesto has 146 firefighters within the department. 77 have signed up for the vaccine, but 69 have not. Vacaville City Fire has 84 firefighters. 44 have signed up to receive the shot, but nearly as many have chosen not to. Vacaville Fire Chief Chris Concepcion. So we've educated them on the uh, advantages of, of getting vaccinated, and so they've made their personal choice. The pattern is clear. In just about every case, significant numbers of first responders are opting not to get vaccinated. Something else we discovered, some state and local agencies, including Sacramento Police, Stockton Police, and Placer County Fire aren't tracking vaccination rates at all because COVID-19 vaccines aren't mandatory. And whether they're tracking or not, all of the agencies who responded to our inquiry said they won't change any assignments based on vaccination status. First responders who decide not to get vaccinated will stay on the front lines, encountering members of the public on a daily basis. So they're working at the same firehouses that they have um, have normally been working on and, uh, and continuing to run the same type of um, calls that they did before. The Centers for Disease Control has given its OK, saying it's still safe for unvaccinated first responders to operate on the front lines as they have access to personal protection equipment. The vaccinations are just part of an overall plan as far as getting rid of COVID. And so we still have to maintain uh, making sure that our, our uh, firefighters are continuing to protect themselves. No matter what, it's important for everyone to use universal precautions, according to Dr. Brad Pollock, Associate Dean for Public Health Sciences at UC Davis School of Medicine. The vaccine is great, but it may not be perfect. And we still have not established whether being vaccinated actually prevents you from possibly transmitting the virus to somebody else. You might still act as a carrier. We don't think that's the case, but we don't have the scientific evidence yet to be able to rule that out. Because of that, you just have to make sure that people are masking up and maintaining distance and so on as, as we need to do to prevent the transmission. Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 News. So what happens to those vaccine doses that first responders don't want? Well, the state health department says they go to other eligible people, including those 65 and older.